one day I would love to open like open up a school in St. Louis, right? Sometimes being around this neighborhood and, and you know, college is so far-fetched in their mind, uh, and it shouldn't be. Let's hear it for Jason Tatum. Do you want to get right into the one-on-one -on -one stuff, or do you want to say hello? No, we can play one-on-one. -on -one. You nervous? All right, you should be. I get a win. 13 seconds, 2-0 to play that defense. Hey. Hey. This camp is for, you know, inner city kids, right? I do a camp at my high school. Uh, you know, the kids can pay to come to. But, you know, I do a free camp for one day, you know, for kids that, you know, don't have the resources to get all the way out to where I went to high school. Um, or parents who, you know, can't afford the send to that. You know, this is like my favorite camp to do. Uh, because these kids are the most passionate, the most, you know, extremely grateful uh, for this opportunity. I remember being in this position and seeing somebody that I really, really looked up to. It really impacted me. So that's why I just try to do the same when I come back home. My name is Grant, and when you got drafted, did you want to go to the Boston Celtics? No. I was a big Golden Lakers fan, so you know, as a rivalry there. But I love being on the Celtics now, so it, it, it worked out. I wish you could see how I used to look. Instead of, you know, when I got to the NBA going somewhere different, how could I improve the place that I grew up playing? Uh, and, you know, with the team we designed a, a court, um, I put my son's name at the free throw line. Everything I do is to, to show my son, you know, about hard work and uh, giving back and things like that. I was super proud to see this court get finished. You know, it, it really meant a lot to me. Who's the hardest person in school? Nobody. So tell about where we are right now. It's the computer lab. I tell kids all the time, I'm extremely blessed to be in my position, right? And, you know, there's a little luck involved. I'm 6'9", I got super long arms, um, and, you know, I'm not normal to be in my position, to be in the NBA. You know, everybody's not athletically gifted in that sense. So, you know, giving kids different areas and avenues uh, to excel in, right? A lot of these kids around this neighborhood never use a computer. So this was important to me um, to give kids that, that knowledge and, and, and show them those, those life skills that they're gonna need that you know, nowhere else really in the city provides. When they first saw it and their, their faces and their expression, you know, that made my day. Um, really? Seeing how excited they were to see laptops and that some people take for granted. And you have pretty ambitious goals for the foundation too. Yeah, uh, man, you know, one day I would love to open, like, open up a school in St. Louis, right, um, and and help, you know, get kids that, underprivileged kids to, to college, you know, sometimes being around this neighborhood and, and you know, college is so far-fetched in their mind, uh, and it shouldn't be, you know, every kid should, should have equal opportunity, and I think, you know, through basketball, my platform and resources, you know, trying to make that possible. We want to start a school, a community school that will encompass um, all the needs that need to be met in the community. If they, for whatever reason, don't have a laundry, a wash and dryer at home, they can bring it to school. It can be washed while they're in class. Um, if for some reason, you know, they need a couple days until they get paid again and they don't have any food, you can take some food home from the food pantry. We'd like to have a space too where they could, um, you know, tap into like if they want to do coding or um, drawing or designing or um, graphic design and things like that. Growing up, I just thought, I just wanted to give back. I didn't necessarily know how or exactly what. I just wanted to, to be the best role model I could be for anybody in St. Louis. I thought about that since I was 10 years old. 
So, you know, now as I've gotten older, you know, pinpointing the exact things that I care about, you know, single mom, single mom households um, and, and, and trying to help them out and, um, you know, inner city kids, you know, making sure that they know school is just important as sports. What is some advice that you give us as young basketball You'll never, you can never dream too big. I used to come here every day um, and have dreams of being on TV, dreams of being in the NBA. Um, so coming back to show you guys that it's possible. Why is it important to you? Being from St. Louis, um, I feel like, you know, when people talk about, you know, our city or, you know, think about us, we're very small and not necessarily always good things that they talk about, whether it's, you know, the crime, poverty, you know, not a lot of people make it from St. Louis. So, you know, even when I was a kid, I knew I was going to be a professional NBA player and I was going to be one of the best players in the world and that I was never going to forget where I'm from and, you know, I was going to inspire the next generation because without this place, I don't think I would be the person I am today.